this bottle is round. It's got these geometric prism-like designs, which are kind of fun to tap on. It has a, an aluminum, I'm assuming, aluminum metal cap. It says...
you know. So I will resell this on Mercari. I don't know, maybe I could make five dollars. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe just like three or four dollars, but I'll resell this on Mercari. And I'm honestly thinking of hanging on to this for now. I'm not crazy about it, but I really like it. And I don't have anything else that's quite like it because I actually do not have a whole lot of sweet perfumes. I really like this one. It's got, I'll get into the notes more soon, but it's it's got some fruity notes and it's got a prominent marshmallow and musky note. So it's just, I don't know, it's nice. It's sweet, but it's not, it's not sickly, cloyingly sweet in my opinion. So I think I might keep it for now. And honestly, at some point down the road, I might resell it at that point. Also, before I get into the notes, I did want to say that I have already reviewed this one, Ariana Grande's Moon, Grande's Moonlight. I reviewed this um, in a past video. This perfume is, as you can see, it's kind of like a little sister. Um, very similar looking, different colors, and this one's got like an opalescent sheen. Um, but other than that, bottles are the same. And honestly, they do smell very similar. Um, I actually sprayed them out like an hour ago. Right here, this is the Moonlight. And, uh, wow. Okay, now that they've dried down, they're even more similar. Um, basically, they, they've got similar sorts of, um, base notes and, like, DNA of the perfume. They've both got the marshmallow, um, and I think they both got musk, or I guess Moonlight doesn't have musk, but it smells musky to me. So, anyway, they've got very similar smells. I would say the Ariana Grande Ari is a little bit more, like, fruity fresh, like it's a little bit higher pitch. It's got the citrus note and, um, Lily of the Valley, so it's a little bit more, like, tart, fruity, I guess. It, not that it's tart, but this one's, like, smoother, creamier, more low-tone, more cozy, more creamy. But anyway, I just wanted to share this again, because I do find it similar. I also found many people in the reviews for this perfume were saying that. They were saying it's pretty similar smell them both now, and I can confirm that it is pretty similar to Ari. Alright, so let's go ahead and read the main accords for Ari. So we have sweet, fruity, string and put it on a tag, uh, put it on a tag. I'll 
much more softer and subtle and you kind of have to over spray it for gender people are saying this is very feminine I would agree to me this smells very feminine price value people are saying this is a good price value like I said you can find this at stores like TJ Maxx and Ross for usually around $20 this is the one ounce size of course so it's smaller but I found this one also in the one ounce size for $20 at Ross so pretty good price value all right let's go ahead and read some reviews so somebody says to me it smells like sugared pineapple marshmallow the sweetness of marshmallow and vanilla is lovely but the grapefruit note turns me off it doesn't matter because quickly because it quickly becomes a generic sweet skin scent really fun for a sample but won't buy a bottle that person might like this one more because this doesn't have the grapefruit note and it's a little more toned down similar dry down all right so let's go ahead and read another about this perfume it says super sweet citrusy on the top 